So right now I installed Windows 10 on my my battery and everything's coming tomorrow. I was outside playing Minecraft and my battery just died on me. It's at like 50%. So yeah, you can tell this thing needs a new battery. But you could tell this thing is hot. It's not running at full speed though. Well, it's because nothing's loaded. But the thing runs hot. Here, I want to show you how hot it's running. So it's, it's not thermal throttling yet. But it's running at a toasty 80 degrees. Ooh, they ain't good. <laughs> at least my other laptop doesn't run at 82 degrees, but that's what you get when you put four cores. This was a long time ago, but feel that heat come out of here. Just blasting out here. There's all this heat. In fact, it's warming up my tabletop. Hello, everyone. It's Doctor Studios here. Today, we are going to be upgrading this laptop finally. So, I got some stuff in the mail. There's a Kingston SSD, if you could see it. And an OEM create battery. I was gonna get an OEM, but people kept complaining about it, so I decided to go third party. So first off, we close, flip, and get my screwdriver out. Oh nope, that's a flathead. There is the right one. So first off, we're gonna take out the old battery. This battery's quite old. I'm gonna put in its original box just in case. The battery can last like. 20 30 minutes if you have battery saver on so that's always a bonus so I'll probably just carry it around with me as a spare even though it's probably not a good spare okay so what I like about this laptop is it has six gigs of RAM it has a double stack here. I call it a double stack. I don't know what it's really called. It has this empty space here, and it has this Wi-Fi. I thought this thing had Bluetooth, but I guess not, because you see here, both holes have pins in it that indicate something. I thought it had dual band. Nope, doesn't have dual band. Then I thought the second one was Bluetooth because it says aux, but no. I don't know what both means because on my HP it was only one, same for my friends, so who knows what that means. So we're just going to zoom in here. So, yeah, if all of this is done, my own bed. You know, at this point, you just use brute force. There you go. It just slides right out. You pull up the pin. Like so. Now, I could do one and two things. I could just leave this aluminum on here and just grab the SD. So, we're going to push it out. Nope, you can't do that. How did I get it out? Oh, okay. Thanks, Kingston, for making it easy. Oh, man, this thing, it's so weird. When I first got my first SSD, the thing was so light, couldn't even tell. Like, this thing feels really, really light. It feels like there's nothing in it. You would think it would have some sort of weight, like a RAM stick does. But look at that. <laughs> it doesn't weigh much more. I guess, I guess they use a very thin chassis, but Kingston SSD seem to be pretty fast in my opinion. I'm going to put a little double sided tape down there so it has some grip. Just going to put a little strip here. This will give us some grippy grip so it won't just go like that. So we have to do it from an up angle and then push up and then slide a little bit more. I scratched it and then push down. Oh yeah. I should hold it down for a bit. Oh, should I? For just so it doesn't disconnect, we're just gonna put a little scotch tape. We're just gonna do some ghetto work. Put it on the lead here. This probably will also prevent water damage, which shouldn't happen. But there are indeed holes in this thing. But if you look here, the double sided tape is holding it, so it's not slopping around. This tape will stop it from disconnecting, because you know I do I don't put nice with some laptops, so it happens. But so yeah, 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 that ain't going nowhere. See, a little bit of scotch tape here, a little bit of double sided tape there. Fixes your issue sometimes. Okay, next we're going to um put this on. Ah. Oh, and lap and battery. Oh yeah. You can tell it's good when there's foam around it. Well, this is cheap foam, but who cares? It's a battery, it's not like it's not like you're putting the hard drive with breakable. Oh yeah, it's pretty solid. I would weigh the battery compared to the OEM one, just to see if it's really high quality. Um, in terms of weight, 
Um, I don't know much of a difference. I think it's a tad heavier, but I'm pretty sure it's just a, a Lego thing. But I'm gonna screw these in. Oh crap! I don't know where I put the new battery. Wait, nope. This is the new one. You can tell it's way, uh, it's way cheaper looking. I hope this works because it says it says 11 volts, and this one is 10.8 volts. But they're very similar. As long as they're the same one, it just should work. So, please don't fry my laptop. Ready? I can always resell it on eBay. Let's see if there's any battery in the laptop. So we're gonna get a boot drive 3.0. So this should go with breeze. Oh, there's battery. It works. Maybe a little extra voltage will get that CPU running as well. Oh yeah, I think it's F12. So you turn it off. Turn it on. Yeah. Hold down F12 for the boot menu. Well, this will take a while. I got a boot menu in here. We're going to do F12 and F2. See which one pops up first. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Well, I got your boot menu right here. Well, we're going to have to figure this one out. Um, yeah. This might take a bit, so I'll see ya. Here we go, everyone. After installing Windows, I finally got Windows 10 installed. No, it's not Vista. But, yeah, it works perfect now. Good battery life. It's super fast. And as you can see right here, I will show you. Oh, yeah, I need to turn on hibernation. Here, I'll show you. Turns off very quick. I'm actually going to let the computer actually turn off, turn off. Should put up fast. Windows. Oh man, the man, the thing boots up quick. Look at that. It was a fast my actual computer. Well, there you go, guys. It's finished.